So this is one of the things that's been really good for her. Let's see, they want to stick here in this grass. Plus I have fairly heavy sheep anyway. So she's really learning to go ahead and push into that bubble a little bit. Um, she's a bit of a perfectionist. And she doesn't like, you know, making a mess is not her... It's not what she wants to do. She wants to keep things as quiet and settled as she can. So this has really been a good experience for her to learn that she can push on that bubble a little bit and not make a mess. So what I'll do is I'll just come out here and, oh, I stay probably not much further than anywhere from 30 to 75 feet back from her probably. Um, close enough that I can you know, encourage her if she needs to walk on without me standing back there just tooting and tooting and tooting on my whistle to walk up. I'm up here so she feels like I'm not going to leave her hanging out to dry in over her head. And then I don't have to keep telling her to walk on. Walk on, Gwen. She just knows I'm there to back her up. Let this lamb get... Here, Gwen. Here, Gwen. Look. Good. Lie down. <laughs> Silly little lamb. Come. Lie down. It's not going to walk up. I'm not going to expect her to move that up. She's too little for that. Good girl. Lie down. Lie down. There she goes. Walk on. And she's real good about holding the line on her own, so I don't have to do a lot of flank whistles. So I'm just here walking behind her, letting them push that bubble all down the field. It's amazing for drive work for a dog with a lot of eye that likes to be careful. She's holding that line all by herself. Very seldom do I have to say anything to her. She's getting really good too about when I do flank her and ask her to walk on. Um, she doesn't stick between the flank and the walk on. She gets right back up. So she is doing nothing but going in the right direction. Nice little dog. Hang back a little bit. So see, we've been walking for a while and I haven't had to say a thing. Which is maybe not what everybody wants, but I prefer to that once I told my dog to walk on, that they keep on until I've asked them otherwise. See, she doesn't want to push on that bubble too hard. I'm giving them a little time to make the right choice. Which is fine, because she, as she matures and gets more experience, she's going to do less and less of that. She's going to be more confident. See what she does now here on her own. She's probably, she's close to a pronounced distance away, so I'm going to let her turn them. See, that was good. She stayed on her feet, see? Not sticking. Wonderful.
good girl. She's falling far away.